Hello everybody, my name is Marlo and welcome back to the Ripple Effect server. Last episode we built these things you see behind me on the water here. Three jet skis, there is one over there in the corner, can you see it? Uh, a seaplane and a yacht, oh and a speedboat. <laughs> Don't mean to completely disregard your speedboat every single time I talk about this, I, I do still love you. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's what we did last episode, I want to do something kind of connected to it today. Uh, I want to build over yonder, let's just take a little stroll over, um, a little beach resort tiki bar kind of thing. I don't really know how to explain it. Um, this area right here, so I obviously need to convert it all to sand to make it a beach. <laughs> uh, so I'll probably get on that straight away and start doing that and then we can come back and actually do some building. But um, kind of as though... You know, people of my friends or whoever I'm having over, having a big island party. Um, they come on in uh, on the boats and then we'll probably bring out a pathway over here. And then I, this can be like the the party place. You can relax on some, on some uh, what they call it, sunbeds. Maybe there's a bar in the middle, a volleyball net possibly. I don't really know. I haven't thought about it too much. Um, thankfully, this is one of those episodes where I can kind of just like wing it and build bit by bit at a time. And I don't really have to do, you know, that much planning. Um, so I'm kind of excited to start building. I've still got inspiration flowing. I'm not <laughs> not completely sick of it yet. Hopefully you guys aren't either. But uh, yeah, I'm going to grab some sand, change a bit of this up. I'm not sure how big I'm going to make it. I think I might be able to actually bring it out a bit. Yeah, because all of this along here is mushroom filled shore. So I can make it pretty big, but probably won't be that much bigger than this. This is, it's probably fine. And things are looking a little more beachy around here. I've placed all the sand in. I've expanded the island out a little bit over here. Not too much, just really enough to give myself some room to play with. Um, I've done sort of like a, I don't know, mix and match of dirt and sand up on the higher levels. So it looks like it's not basically a complete <laughs> straight line of sand um, compared to dirt crossover. So I think that looks okay. Uh, as for the pathing, that block needs to be in my inventory. Uh, I've just done my course dirt pathing and um, spruce blocks. This is the same as what or what decoy and bank originally did in Spawn Town, and I copied. <laughs> um, but it's it's a very nice path design, and I know it doesn't really make sense for the type of island I'm going for here because I'm going for like a billionaire's paradise island. Doesn't really make sense to have like a old worn down walked on village pathway, but. To be quite frank, it looks the best, and I feel like it would just look horrible if I had a completely uniform, straight line, no like mix-up of the blocks. Um, I think it would look really horrible <laughs> if I did that. That's why I've gone for this. I don't know if it's going to be the same pathway I do for all of the village, because we're going to have... Oh, village? This is... This, it, it really is a village pathway, isn't it? Um, all of the island. It might be this, it might be something else. I may even change this in the future, I don't know. But for now, and at least this area over here, I'm going to use this pathway design. Um, yeah, so we've got all this room here. It's it's pretty big. I do have some ideas of what I'm going to do. Um, one of them, I'm not going to I'm not gonna build it now on camera. I'm sort of just going to plot it out. But I want to build like a central tiki bar where you would go and get your drinks or something. Probably it would make sense in the middle, if that's going to be like probably the biggest thing I build. I don't want to do it. It's not final. Let's just place blocks. Um, I'm not even sure if this is the shape it's going to be. That's not the right shape either. <laughs> um, but just something like that. Let's see how this looks. Let's see. Let's see how this uh, circle of logs looks on some sand. Mm, amazing. Job done. Episode over. No. Um, yeah, I'd say that's okay placement. It's not final anyway. Um... And then maybe we can have some, like, sun lounges, like, over here, maybe. Obviously, I will do more than just that. <laughs> maybe some over there. Uh, we could have... Oh, where should we put the volleyball net? That's that's an important thing. Maybe that could go, like, over there. I want to do some, like, palm trees and everything. I don't really know. I don't have too many ideas at the moment. But I'm going to build up this central thing. Um, I do actually need to do this. Give it a good old splurge. <laughs> oh, the, the lovely noise it makes. How very nice. <laughs> um, yeah, I need to do that. And um, basically just build... That's why it's not working. Build it up a little bit. You, you'll see how it looks once I'm done. So, it's a little bit cozy in here. Just, just slightly. There's three serving holes. I have no idea how three people are meant to fit in here and actually function and do work. But, um, 
yeah, this is the interior. I've got two brewing stands here to make the drinks. We've got one ready to serve uh, a little sink because, you know, hygiene is important. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the inside. Uh, the exterior is the better looking part. It's kind of like a tree. That was my original idea to build like a tree and then have a roof kind of here. I don't know. It didn't work very well, so I've kind of done a mix of spruce um, slabs and jungle leaves, and I think it's a nice contrast of these four colors, or kind of three colors. Those are basically the same. Uh, yeah, it looks kind of neat if you ask me. I have actually put another sunbed in with some tables because that's all I can think of what to do. Uh, I might put an umbrella up, maybe. That's just an idea. But I do want to do this. Uh, can you guess what it's going to be? I need that one as well. Thank you very much. Uh, the volleyball net. I have expanded this ever so slightly so that it actually fits in. I'm just trying to think on where I want to build it. Maybe space a block there and then we want to go one, two, three, four, I think. Or five. I'm trying to imagine. No, four is pretty good, I'd say. And then go uno, dos, tres. Wait, three. Hang on. Do we want to go three or four? Because that's four. This is why you don't count in other languages. <laughs> uh, I think we want to do this, yeah. And I don't... It's already on my bar. Stop messing about. <laughs> Perfect. One, two. There we go. Of course, I forgot to do that. <laughs> Perfect. Right. Let's do that. And then... I'm not using cobwebs. Um, I actually think glass panes look better. We've got white glass pane. I think that looks better than having cobwebs. I don't really know why that's such a popular thing to do for like volleyball nets. I think it looks kind of bad, if you ask me. Uh, that's just my opinion, though. Oh, and of course, the most important thing, the volleyball, which is also the same thing as a cup, but no, no, it's not actually. It's a volleyball. Yes, volleyball. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I'd say that's a pretty good location. We can maybe add, like, some sandstone in amongst here because it's been, you know, played on a bit, so it's going to be a bit different terrain, I would say. Um, make it look as though it's been scuffed up a little bit. I don't know. Um, I'll do that once I've sort of <laughs> placed everything else in. But I do want to do... Uh, there's two more things I've got in mind as of this moment. I'm trying to think which one I want to do first. One's going to go here, and one's going to go in the cave. I'm going to do... Or not cave. I'm going to make a, like, tiny little cave. <laughs> it's not going to be a... It's not going to be the actual cave like we've got underground here. Uh, it's sort of just going to be a little indentation into the terrain here. Okay, guys. This has turned out a lot better than I thought with in my head. I had the original structure built in a creative world. I knew what that was going to look like, but the whole cave idea that was very spur of the moment so uh here you go yeah um <laughs> it's meant to be a chimpanzee or a ape or monkey or some primate i don't know um of course fire breathing because all oh, primates do that i've got some jack lanterns behind his eyes just to give him a bit of light oh that's the point actually it's getting night time i haven't seen it when it's dark this is actually going to be timed very well maybe I'll try and keep talking while the sun goes down. If not, I'll remember to bring you back in to show you what it looks like with it all lit up. Um, but he's got some buttons his ears here, kind of. But they also give off a little chime. Um, <laughs> it's kind of cool. I had a little bit of room left inside. So I just thought, might as well. Someone's probably going to come and press a button if they see it. So they might be nicely surprised. It's, it's getting dark. It's looking pretty cool. The light doesn't actually like come out of his eyes because of it being stairs, but regardless, looks kind of cool. Um, the and Magoo is gonna oh quickly advance it. Yes, we can see the stages of. Oh, that is cool. That is really cool. I might put a bit of light in at the back of the cave there just to give it a. Oh, I really like that. That's 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 sweet. Um, <laughs> yeah, I I think that's it. The cave is is pretty cavey. I don't know. It's just. Pretty much just a bunch of cobble and stuff um, splattered in. But uh, yeah, I like this. This was a happy little surprise. A boop and a boop. And just like that, two boops later, the next thing is done. A little table and chairs so that when you've burnt to a crisp because you've got to put your sunblock on while you were sunbathing, you can come and chill underneath the, un underneath the umbrella here and have a drink with your friends, play some cards maybe out of the... What, what could these be? Coconuts, maybe? Have a have a pina colada and a coconut? I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, just... I, there was a big gap here. I needed something to fill that space. So, we've got some more seating area. I, I think that looks pretty cool. Um, 
cyan and white. It's fairly dull-ish colours. I didn't want to do it too dull, but I didn't want to do it too bright, so I felt like cyan was a good in-between of that. Um, I have got some room over here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it as of this moment, but what we do need is palm trees. So I went ahead and finished everything up over here. First things first, the pathway. I'm not in love with it, I'm gonna be honest. Um, it gets a little crowded and hectic, especially in this middle part here. Um, but it's either that or just have plain sand, so I think it's a little bit of an improvement. I don't know, it looks a bit sort of crazy, but it's okay, I guess. It's not the end of the world. Uh, we've got some upside down sandstone stairs, I believe, yes. Sandstone stairs and normal sandstone blocks just add a little bit of tex texture variation uh, into the sand. Uh, some tiki torches placed around, some palm trees. These, these are the same design as um, over on Turtle Island over there. I think we've got four. Yes, four. Hello, y you coming aboard? Wanna wanna drink? Wanna go wanna go press the button? Wanna go press the monkey's ears? <laughs> no, you. Oh, she doesn't like it then. Okay, I see how it is. Fair enough. Just not, not a fan. Okay. Alright, fine. I, I tried to please, but obviously it's not good enough for you, is it? Oh, God. Drowns these days. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then this thing over here. Um, it's a little hot tub. I can't take credit for this design. It's like the first thing that comes up on Google Images when you type in Minecraft hot tub. I could not think how to do one that looked good, so I had to do a Google search, but... um. I'll try to remember to leave a link in the description to like a video or something if there is one. Um, but knowing me, by the time this video comes up or it goes live, I would have forgotten. Um, we've got some fire underneath the slabs and the stairs just to make it look like it's nice and toasty. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I might do a couple more changes if I can think of anything. But for right now, I think this place is done over here. So any of you on the server want to come over, just let me know when you're heading on over on your boat, when you've docked, and uh, I'll get you a drink ready. Okay guys, I have been doing a little bit of off-camera work, nothing related to the tiki bar over there, but um, I just basically needed something to do while I couldn't record, and I didn't want to do anything that would be of interest to feature in an episode, or have a whole episode based around it, but it's in here, the, these two little holes, so just really uh, prepare your eyes, because this room looks a little different to what you might imagine. It's a skeleton and spider spawner. Um, but it looks like this. But, wrong way. <laughs> yeah, it's very, um, red <laughs> and black. Um, I'm aware that this looks very ugly, or it, I don't know if ugly is the word, just bizarre, really. Um, I wanted to build out of these two blocks because I just like how red and black looks together. And because this isn't really something that's going to be that prominent in the island and it's just something hit ground, hit underground um, far away from everything. I thought I'd just, you know, why not? Um, hindsight, probably shouldn't have done it. It took me a long time to get all the ink sacks and gravel and everything. Um, but I think it looks kind of cool. I just kind of wanted to show it because it is part of the island and I guess it's something I built, so I may as well. Um, it doesn't work very well. <laughs> uh, I do actually have a switch here where I can turn it to AFK mode where I can just go and hide in a little thing there that I built or to experience mode where the skeletons will get their water stream like switched and then they'll end up coming here. Um, mainly so if I just say need to repair my elytra or something I can come on over to here and quickly do it instead of going all the way to the ender ender. That was sort of like the main reason behind it. Um, but the spites, cave spiders are annoying, man. <laughs> um, I I can't really show you what I've done, and it's not that important, really. But I've messed around a bit up there, so they've stopped sort of like climbing the walls and stuff. As you can see, it, it does actually work. Um, but then there's other things that go wrong, like if a skeleton spawns with feather fallen boots, they um, don't die on the f drop. And I did originally have an iron golem in there, but then the iron golem kept getting poisoned <laughs> and then killed by the spiders, so... I gave up that idea and pretty much I'm just not really going to use it, um, or if I do I won't AFK for that long or I'll continuously come back and check because I don't want to like crash the server from having an overflow of mobs, but um, yeah, it's just a little thing that I did, it's not really that cool or important, I just wanted to show it off anyway because it is part of it. How do I get back up here? This is the best part to be honest, this water stream. <laughs> 
There may be one other very slight, small thing that I did off camera, just as a little bit of, you know, extra work to do. Um, this ginormous south tunnel <laughs> in the nether hub. Uh, yeah, I needed some projects I could do off camera while I wasn't recording because I didn't want to overstep on the episodes and get into the bad habit like I did last season with pre-recording to the point of stupidity and have like months and months progress just not released in um, episode form. So I'm kind of trying to hold myself back and not go crazy with it this season. So I've done this to sort of slow me down a bit. Um, <laughs> this is a good 700 blocks long. I will fly down it in just a second, but we've got some light blue terracotta. It kind of has like a purple tinge to it, I think. Anyway, I don't know. I'm not good with colors. Um, but I think, I think it's a good color palette. Got some bone block, prismarine, um, slabs. Thank you to the awesome foursome for building your, um, guardian farm. It came in greatness of handy. That was poor. It was very helpful. <laughs> um, and then some spruce and slabs on the floor with a, um, you know, half a block up, so nothing can spawn here. Um, yeah, let's take a fly through it. Why don't we? I have got a stair here because it's a little bit easier to activate your elytra because I suck at doing that. Um, I, I don't really know why I'm showing this. It is literally the same for 700 blocks. And the world isn't going to load F3A. Yes, there we go. Nope. There is a lot of quartz in the, in the walls, so if I ever need some more quartz, I might come and just harvest a bunch from the sides because I did leave a lot of it because I was lazy and this project took long enough. There we are, we're here. Whoop. Oh my god, lag. I think... Yeah, Carl's already set up his somewhat of a, uh, the start of his tunnel. Nice design, Carl. I like what you're doing with the place. Um, yeah, at the moment, Carl is the furthest one away. He's like 5,400 blocks or something in the overworld on the... um. Oh god, what well, the, the Z coordinate is a positive, so that's the south direction. Um, I think I'm the next furthest along. I'm somewhere like to, in the half, in the last two thirds of the tunnel here. Um, but yeah, it it's, should be long enough at least for a while. Um, if it does need expanding at some point in the future, I'm happy to do it. But yeah, this is this is what what I've been doing for like a couple of days. It didn't actually take me too long. But um, yeah, at some point in maybe not the next episode, maybe the episode af after, I will do something related to this. I'm thinking maybe I set up my tunnel and then we can do something with another portal or something. I don't really know. Um, but that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now. Nope. Crap. Nope. Yay, there we go.